it's Christina from Redefine Creative and I am back with a really fun project for Paper House Productions where I am combining a bunch of kind of different collections together. And so I started out with this beach um, sand dune like dark blue background and it matches perfectly with the colors in both the Harry Potter paper as well as in this like outdoor camping style paper. And so I'm going to use sections of each one of those. So definitely don't feel when you're creating that you need to be stuck inside one collection. Um, you can absolutely pull things from collections that really have very little to do with each other. So we've got a beach, a camping, and Harry Potter going on this particular layout. There are absolutely links down below if you are looking at this saying, hey, I really need that wood grain paper or the Harry Potter goodies. And there's also a discount code down there where you can get 20% off in the shop, which is a pretty good deal if you need to pick up anything. All right, so I am taking my two photos, and I have one that I cut to a 4x4 and one that I basically cut to just a tiny little strip. So I don't have a specific measurement for that one for you. Um, and what I want to do is I want to use this piece of puzzle as part of my photo map. So I have the Patronus washi tape because we are working on a Harry Potter, Harry, Harry Potter Patronus, holy cow, say that five times fast, Harry Potter Patronus puzzle. And so this washi tape was perfect because it kind of mimics the icons that are in the particular puzzle that we are building. And so I start out thinking I'm going to put them on the bottom of this kind of chipboard puzzle. And that puzzle is something I picked up just in like a huge pack in a kid's craft section at one of the, I think one of the big box stores, I'm not even sure. Um, I do have individual ones of those in my shop and the link for that is down below as well. If you want to play around with this idea of just one of these little chipboard puzzles, you can buy single packs of those. And so what I'm going to do instead is I'm kind of playing around with all my layers because it's just not working the way I want it to work here at the moment. And so I'm going to shorten this one up a little bit. And I know that I want that Harry Potter panel to kind of be like lengthwise beneath my photos. And I'm moving the washi tape around and I like it better down here in my pattern paper layers rather than on that chipboard instead. So it's going to get moved down there to the bottom and I like that a lot better as the layout kind of comes together and I place a little bit longer title. So then I'm looking at this puzzle that I wanted to use and it's just chipboard and it is totally alterable. So I am pulling the pieces apart and so I'm going to kind of extend out my photo mat because I was feeling like some of the idea of the puzzle pieces was kind of getting lost. So rather than leaving them put together, I just kind of split them apart it increases the size of that photo mat, but it also makes it really evident that these are puzzle pieces and not just some like crazy white chipboard mat. So then what I am going to end up doing with those, because I feel like they're standing out a little bit too much on my particular layout, is I'm going to take some black ink and I'm going to distress all of the edges all the way around. And that really kind of helps tie everything together. While I have that black ink pad out, I'm also going to distress a little bit that camping paper that you see a strip of down at the bottom that has kind of the like herringbone arrow type print. I distress that a little bit as well and I feel like that really ties everything together. So if you are trying to mix paper from different collections and you feel like some of them are a little bit too white based and some of them are a little bit too distressed, Try using your ink to kind of create a little bit more continuity between those different collections. And I think that's a tip that will kind of help you be able to mix and match those pattern papers a little bit better. So I've started building my title down here along this strip on the bottom. And it's going to end up saying Super Expecto Patronum Weekend Adventure. So it's a long title. And I've added some little thicker silver stars. And then I feel like I wanted there to be a little bit of almost distressing on these foam letters. And so I'm going to take my pen and I'm just kind of going around the outside edges. Because it's foam, the marker spreads just a tiny bit. So it's going to give that same distressed look that I have going on everywhere else with that little border. So this is definitely a step that is like completely up to your taste. If that is not something that you are all excited about, then absolutely skip that step. Um, it was just something I felt like I needed to kind of 
finish off and create even more continuity with those letters just because they are so bold and so white. Then I found this little acrylic super um, that I knew had to be part of this uh, page. The reason I'm adding in that touch of red and I'm adding it with the enamel dots is because if you look at my photos, I have a lot of blue in the puzzle pieces, but I have a, that bright pop of red from the table that we're working on. And I didn't want to edit that out because I actually really liked the difference between all the blue pieces and that really bright red background. So instead I kind of embraced it and added a couple little accents of red and that really kind of just tied everything together. So hopefully you enjoyed kind of seeing my process. This was a pretty quick and easy one to come together. There are links to everything down below. And then here is that coupon code if you want to check out Paperhouse Productions and get 20% off. And I'll see you soon. Bye.